All right, guys, we have a pretty fun thing to talk about this morning. One of the things that we have been waiting on for a really long time, Google Assistant with Bard is here, but not quite in the way that we were expecting. That is because Bard has indeed, as been rumored, it has been rebranded to Google Gemini, which is, I think we can all agree, a far superior name. And as Gemini, a whole bunch of stuff is happening. So the first thing that's happening is the website bard.google.com is now effectively gone, and it has been replaced by gemini.google.com. So if you are used to using the web page, as you can see here, you're going to have to change your link a little bit. If you go to the Bard website, it's going to take you there. But more excitingly, I think, than that is the fact that they have rolled out the Gemini app for Android. And once installing it, there are some pretty exciting things that you can do. And it actually works in a way that I personally was not expecting. I thought this was just basically going to be a link to the Gemini website and you would do your stuff there, but it is not. It is, in fact, quite a bit deeper than that. So let's take a look. I've got it installed on my Pixel Fold. I've also got my wife's Pixel 8 Pro, and we're going to kind of compare and contrast some things with her device. So obviously the first thing that you're going to need to do with this is you're going to need to go to the Google Play Store and you're going to, need to search for Gemini. So you can see here, Google Gemini, and you can install that directly from the Play Store. Now once it's installed, you can open this thing up and this is what it's going to look like. So it is slightly different from just the straight up web app. You can see just some little test things that I was doing here. You can see your history and you are free to type talk, or even grab a photo, which you can take a photo, like let's grab this plant here, and you can attach that photo to Gemini, and you can say, what kind of plant is this? Hit send, and it's going to do its best to answer that question in what should be a more intelligent way than what you are used to with Lens or Google Assistant. You see that's going to take a little bit of time, but there you go. The plant is most likely a gasteria, a succulent plant, on and on and on. So it's going to give you some fairly intelligent answers to this. But I did mention that it goes a bit deeper than I was expecting. On a normal Android device, at least on these pixels, if you long press the power button, you are going to get the Google Assistant, which I have not fully, or I guess she has not fully set up. There is your Google Assistant. After you install Gemini, things are different. Let's long press the power button, and as you can see, this is a brand new interface. This is a brand new appearance for this because it is integrated into Google Assistant. Now, one thing that I immediately do not like about this, I can just show you. What's the forecast for today? It'll be mostly cloudy with a high of 59 and a low of 34. As you can see, Google Assistant answered instantly. Gemini requires an additional button press to get that answer. And because it's running through Gemini, I think it's a little bit slower than just Google Assistant as well. Let's see if we can try and do this as close to the same time as possible. What's the forecast for today? It'll be mostly cloudy with a high of 59 and a low of 34. Yeah, as you can see, you're going to have some extra time expenditure and an extra action needed to complete the task. And that is definitely a little bit on the annoying side. But what do you get for that? Well, let's try something here. Let's turn this volume all the way down so we don't hear the talking. And we'll try a more complicated question. Who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? As you can see, Google Assistant said, I like the team with the helmets. Whereas <laughs> Gemini over here is giving an actual answer here. They're talking about the betting odds. The Niners are the slight favorites. Chiefs are not far behind. And of course, there are tons of things Gemini can do that Google Assistant simply can't. Make an image of a VR headset designed by Google with the Pixel branding. So that is going to take some time, but once it's done, yeah, you actually do have image generation. I find that 
image generation inside Gemini is a little bit hit or miss. Sometimes it does a good job. Sometimes it's not super, super great. So it, lots of improvement needs to be done there, but it is capable of trying. Something else that this adds, which is something that the Pixel 8 Pro has had for a little while, is the ability to summarize a web page because Gemini is capable of adding the screen that you are on. So let's add that screen, and so it's actually grabbed the link, and I can easily say, summarize this web page close enough, and if we send it, it's gonna take a little bit of time, but we should get there. Let's come over here to my wife's device while this is doing its thing, and we'll grab the same web page. And if I long press here, you should see summarize down there at the bottom. I can click on that, and you'll see this is going to take about one-tenth of the time that it took the Pixel Fold to do the same. I cut some of that stuff out, but yeah, it took a lot longer on the Pixel Fold. But it is at least there. It's not quite the same output, but you are at least sort of capable of doing the same sorts of things now. And beyond just, you know, summarizing web pages, obviously we have the lens option here in Google Photos. But let's say this is an app that does not have lens built in. I can add this screen and I can say, what kind of bird is this? and it's going to be able to scan that image from the screen I was on using the screen as context to then be able to ask whatever question you need to ask. And again, I gotta keep hammering this home. It does take a little bit longer than I would like in some instances. This wasn't nearly as bad as the web page, maybe you know, half the time, something like that. It is a little bit slow, but it does offer some pretty decent answers. And actually, it just occurred to me in editing that Lens gives a totally different answer as well. It's basically just matching up pictures and you're gonna be able to kind of figure out the same sorts of information, but not quite the same as what Gemini is doing. There is something else we need to talk about here though, because there is also launching today, Gemini Advanced, which is their Ultra 1.0 model. Now this is something you're gonna have to pay for. Everything I'm showing you currently is free, but the Ultra 1.0 model, Gemini Advanced, they're saying it's more capable of highly complex tasks, coding, logical reason, nuanced instructions, on and on and on. That is something you're gonna have to pay for. So there's a brand new Google One AI premium plan, as you can see here. It's gonna get you for $20 a month, Gemini Advanced, and then you're also going to get everything you would get with the two terabyte plan. So two terabytes of storage. I assume you also get the Google One BP and everything you would get in the two terabyte storage option with this a little bit more money and you get the Ultra AI. So there's a free two month trial. So what I'm gonna do is quickly upgrade to this. And we're going to install Gemini on my wife's phone. And the reason that we're doing this is so that I can try to determine if there is any benefit in terms of like speed or the results that you're going to get. So we're enabling Gemini over here on her device. And now we're gonna pull that web page back up again. Add the screen, add the screen. Summarize this page. And they look to be equally as slow and it looks like the results are maybe identical here. They're very, very similar. So here's one potentially interesting uh, result. I asked the same question about the Tennessee Titans new head football coach. You can see Jim and I advanced there. And as you can see, we got maybe a little bit more of an in-depth answer here than we did here. I think that's pretty cool. Let's ask it another sort of complicated question. Has the Pixel Fold been a success for Google? Actually, we got something went wrong over here and we got our Gemini advanced answer over here. Let's try this again. All right, there we go. So again, we're seeing a similar trend here. Kind of a short answer, much more uh, complex and more detailed answer over here. Now, unfortunately, as far as I'm aware, this is not available in all regions. If you go to the Play Store and you don't see it, it's probably just not available where you are. I think it's only in English right now as well. So that's a little bit disappointing, but Kind of cool that this is out, it's available, and you can install it on pretty much any Android device you have, get access to some additional smarts. There are some downsides though, like I said, it's a bit slower, an additional step to actually complete your query, but it's optional. You don't have to install this. If you wanna stick with Google Assistant as it is currently, you can do that. If you wanna have Gemini, you can do that. You're still gonna be able to do all of the same things, like the home control stuff works just fine, which I guess I could demo. I'm grabbing my Pixel Fold here. Let's try this. 
turn off the studio lights. So as you can see, everything is still working just fine. You've got your different controls popping up there for it as well. So like I said, it's optional. It's just an additional layer on top of Assistant you can opt into if you want. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Are you going to install this? Is it something you're gonna play around with? Are you excited about this? Let me know in those comments. I will see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.